Hi, this is Minder Chen. I'm going to show you how to use uh, CI's Virtual Computer Lab to work on the database assignment. Uh, first of all, you need to uh, go to um, use your browser to navigate to this site. Uh, I'm going to copy it and paste it um, to my browser. So it's a browser-based uh, system which allow you to get access to a remote kind of desktop. And I'm going to click on Student Lab, uh, allow access to clipboard and printer. So we are activating a virtual machine of um, that for you to use. And you need to use your CI email, the complete email address, and your password to your CI account to get in. There's some warning about the virtual machine. We we'll just say click OK. So basically, this is what you're, you're seeing. Uh, be a little bit careful. This is actually the virtual machines, which is a window-based system. Um, if you're a Mac user, as long as you use a browser, you can get access to this. Uh, Microsoft Access doesn't run on the Mac. That's why you have to use this. For Windows-based uh, um, um, system, you can, if you have access locally, then you don't have to use this virtual environment. But if you don't have Microsoft Access, then uh, you can also use this. Uh, this is actually my local system at the bottom here. Um, I'm going to kind of expand this. So we're going to pretty much look at just the virtual environment, not my local environment. And the first thing is to bring up the uh, the browser because I want you to you need to get access to the um, the database that you have to work on uh, in the first place. Uh, you can just click on this uh, browser, Microsoft, uh, sorry, Google Chrome, or you can just type Chrome here um, and. Open it up. Go to CI's website and get access to my CI. I'll log in with your account. In this case, just your dolphin names, not email address, um, but you need to enter your password. And in my case, I need to have another authentication. Um, okay, once I'm in, uh, open up CI Learn and find the MIS course. Get in. Once you're in, uh, go to module and find the database module. Uh, in this case, I'm um, at the database module. Uh, this is assignments uh, problem set describing what this assignment is all about. Uh, here's the actual database that you should work on um, and eventually um, create query and do certain things and submit this database back to me when you complete uh, all the tasks that you, you're asked to do. Uh, this is a document uh, describing how to use Microsoft Access uh, in this virtual lab. So this demo kind of show you how to do that. And here's just the lecture content, PowerPoint slide, and, and the video. You should kind of review and study that first uh, before you work on the assignment, or kind of study it and then work on part of the assignment, and go back and study and work on additional things in the assignment. OK, so we're um, Almost there. Um, let me download this database in the first place. Okay. Um, click on it. It will be downloaded. Or another way, click right mouse button and say save link us. Okay. I'm going to save it in this temp folder or wherever you save it, as long as you know where that is. Okay. And so in this case, you want to rename it, change that last name, first name into your last name and first name, like in my case, Minder Chen. I'm going to just say save. 
So that's safe. And you can just show that in, in the folder. You know it's in the temp folder and this is the database. Um, you can just double click and actually evoke uh, Microsoft Access. Uh, or you can actually um, kind of open up Access uh, directly from here and then try to open up this file. But I think this is the easiest way and just open this database file, which access will be evoke. Just say OK. Uh, the first time you use it, there will be um, a little bit of security warning and just you just say enable content. OK. Now in this um, setting, you're going to see actually 13 query on um, the name of the query has been created, but it's um, if you open it up, let's say one of them, you find out it's um, it's not done yet. It's kind of dummy query. Uh, let me expand this. So uh, the way to work on this is actually here to change this to design view. Okay. Allow me to to minimize this first, um, and to go back to the to the course. Okay. Um, let's see what happened here. Allow me to just bring back back to the back here because I want to open up this assignment document click right mouse button and open up in a new tab so it's right here um, if you have a local copy certainly you can open it up locally and take a look uh, let's just look at uh, there's a lot of description how you how you start working on it but eventually the key portion that about the task that you have to do is actually um, 13 query plus question Q14 has four tasks. So don't forget about the question 14, which is not a query, which is actually creating a form, creating a table, creating a relationship and creating another forms. And um, let's look at just the first query. That's the one we just opened it up. Uh, we want you to create query to list all the customer in the United Kingdom and list only show their company name and the country name. Although we, we know it, its country is United Kingdom, but we still want to see it. And you want to sort it by the company name in ascending order. Okay, there's a little bit of hint. Okay, for various queries, sometimes I do have hint to make it easier for you to, to figure out how to do it. So now we know how to uh, what this is about. So if we make um, let's see, let me minimize this, minimize this. Uh, I need to find out where is my uh, access. Okay. Mm. Okay. So my access is here. So I click on the access, go back to my access here. The Northwind database. Um, I need to query the database. Um, click right mouse button here in this upper pane and show table. Uh, since we need to find out customer in UK, so I'm going to select customer. Close it. I need to know company name just uh, by the way the first thing you may want to do is delete this okay, click right move your mouse over here this field which is a dummy heading and or in other words highlight this okay I don't think we can see it move your cursor over just right on top of this field and click on it and delete it okay and Choose company name, double click. I need country. So do I have country? Yes. You can kind of drag and drop or double click. Either way, you get it. 
Uh, let's run it. If you run, you're going to see actually company name and cost for com company from different country. Okay. We can kind of sort it such that uh, we can only see country from United Kingdom. Okay. Um, it's actually coded as UK, not United Kingdom, but we know UK is United Kingdom. Um, in order to limit our query result, which is what it's asked for, to be, let's switch back to the design mode. So you really need to limit the country to UK. So this criteria, I'm going to say equal to, in single quote, instead of United Kingdom, you know it, the actual content is UK. So just say UK, single quote, which means the country code need to be UK. And let's run it again. So now it's only, I guess, only seven um, customer from UK, and that's the country name. It, it happened the name has been sorted, but to make sure, let's switch to design mode. I'm going to just sort it by ascending order. Okay, so we're done. Um, you can save it. Click here, this icon to save it, or say file, uh, save, save us. Okay, um, I lost that, so click back here. Okay, so I'm gonna click here to save it. Okay, I think it's done. I can close this. Uh, this is where you click. If you click this cross here, it's going to close the access. Okay, you can close the query, and you then you work on each one of them, and then remember there's a question 14, which study the assignment um, problem set to find out what you need to do. Uh, assume uh, you, 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 you have some other thing you need to worry about, uh, you want to stop here and come back and work on it again, then you can close this, one thing which is very important is this, um, the file you store on the student lab's virtual machine, uh, it's not persistent, which means um, you, when you come back again, uh, maybe tomorrow, it may not be here, it may be wiped out. So, so you need to store this somewhere that you can kind of load it up again uh, when you come back and try to work on it. Um, I tested it out. I think this, I can actually email this to my Gmail account, then it will work. But if I email to my CI's email account, the uh, the, the access database file format um, would not go through the CI email account. So send it to your private email account and double check to see whether that work. Okay, early on, uh, don't don't spend several hours working on it and forgot to save it and then email it to yourself. If you're totally done, then you can submit it through the canvas of the assignment. But a lot of time, I suspect it take you several sessions to get this done. So you need to figure out a way to save this. Uh, I believe you can save it under your Dolphin file, upload it to Dolphin file, and then download it again when you want to work on it again. Uh, in, in my case, um, I'm going to just email uh, to myself. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go to my, my CI's email address. Okay. And so in this case, uh, I will use my webmail. Okay, so once you, you, you can use the email or other way to keep a copy of this, not on this virtual lab, but uh, somewhere else that you can uh, bring back. So in this case, I'm going to say new message. Uh, eventually, I will use my Gmail, account, private Gmail account whatsoever, uh, your Gmail account, and then send as an attachment, for instance, uh, as attachment. 
and and you need to browse and on this computer find that particular I think it's this this temp folder and this is the one okay once again it doesn't go it will not go through your CI's email uh, at least doesn't work for me okay uh, figure out a way to make a copy of it uh, you you cannot copy from this virtual machine through the typical copy function to your local computer unfortunately so you have to kind of use this kind of email um, things to keep a copy of it um, you can certainly zip this file and then it will go through your ci email okay but to save the trouble of zipping and zipping um, find your gmail account or some other email account that doesn't block the database file as attachment uh, would uh, will get the job done so eventually you just say send you send it out and if you sign off and come back again and try to work on it uh, you, you need to kind of log into your email and download this to to local virtual lab and then start working on it so that's pretty much it let's see what else we have to do if you completely get this done then you just basically come back to this um, let me switch to the student view you will come back to canvas and under assignment you will find the um, this database assignment you would just say submit assignment and you would choose file and then you would basically um, upload this database file which has all the tasks being completed and just submit it um, this way uh, would do so you just say open uh, once it's open you basically um, can just say submit okay and it counts for 13 points so definitely you want to make sure you complete this successfully um, I guess I covered uh, pretty much everything in order to know how to do other query and also question 14 four tasks of creating two forms one table one relationship uh, read the posted uh, PowerPoint slide and companions uh, video series to learn how to do it and when you're done you can pretty much uh, log out and you can get totally out of this virtual environment and back to your local computers so I guess that's it so I will um see you next time take care